Pretty good. I, think I got it. Yes, thank you. All right, cool. So, yes. So, today we're doing my podcast, right? And then Friday oh, yeah. we're doing your YouTube channel, right? Uh, yeah. I don't have the date in front of me, but I know we're, is it Friday or? Sometime. Like Who that. knows? It's on the calendar somewhere, I'm sure. Okay. All right, man. So, yeah, I'll give, I'll give you kind of like the quick rundown. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. There's nothing super crazy. I don't use the video. I probably should, but I, I'm just not set up to do that right now. So it's just audio, so you can pick your nose, do whatever you want to do. Oh, no. I can't. I even... <laughs> and then, uh, and then uh, what else? So it's, a, it's pretty conversational, the, the podcast in general. Um, I like to typically start with like, you know, what got you started in real estate. We typically do kind of like what's your backstory kind of thing. And then um, we kind of just take it wherever it goes. Um, I don't try to structure it a ton. Like it's not the kind of thing where it's like, give me your, I'm not going to be like, give me your top 10 tips. It's just going to be like, let's kind of follow the conversation and see what's interesting. You know? Um, Question. Um, I always ask this. Um, I, I, I don't use a lot of bad language, but once in a while I'll say shit or something. Uh, <laughs> Is, is that all right? Or you're totally against it? I, it's your show, so I want to... Fine with me, man. I don't, okay. I don't know. I, I, you know, so I'm a New Yorker. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah, I mean, I don't, I, don't, I don't think I've ever sworn on it, but it's not on purpose. I just, whatever. Oh, so, I, do, I do a couple times, but it, 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 it applies. I'm not Gary... Uh, yeah, I, I I'm not like Gary Vaynerchuk. I don't want to drop f bombs just to shock people, but once uh, in a while, you know, I like to say bullshit or something like that. You yeah, know? it it gives a little flavor. I I'm a big believer. A little, a little flavor. Not yeah, exactly. you know. Yeah, yeah. No, you don't do the whole thing. So what? So the question I have for you is, um, you know, I can we'll we'll kind of talk about like a, a website we want to send people to. So what's the best place for you? You're like, I want people to go to where. ClaudeDiamond.com, and I'm going to give everyone a free book. Okay. Um, who goes to my webpage, ClaudeDiamond.com. I just, I don't sell anything. Uh, yeah. I give away a lot of free stuff as a way of introducing myself to people. I think that's the best way I can market. Yeah, I think so too, man. It's the whole like. Absolutely. You know, Let's rock and I have a, I have a jam-packed day here. Okay. All right. Well, we'll keep it moving. We'll get right into it. And then we will be, we will move straight on. And if you, if you need to get, if you need a hard out or whatever, just give me the old watch sign. Cause again, we want to. Okay. Video. Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. Let's if I get right boring, in. cut me off and fire me. Just that's all. <laughs> I will. Oh, the only other thing I'll say is that there is a team that edits the podcast. So if whatever you got cough or whatever, it's no big deal. Um, all right, cool. And I'll do my intro separately, so I'll just kind of toss right to you. and then we'll Okay, go. great. All right, this is Danny Brayer, and I'm here with Claude Diamond from ClaudeDiamond.com. How are you, Claude? What's going on? I am wonderful. How are you? Thank you, for, I, thank you, Daniel, for inviting me. Yeah, man, it was my pleasure, and uh, I'm very excited to have you on. How so excited? You, was that, well, uh, I would say a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. 10 being... I've literally peeing my hands, so, so we're not quite there. But I, I so I want to say, so it's like you and I kind of share, so my partner in my coaching program, Yassine, has also worked with you, and so mm -hmm. he's kind of like our, our primary connection. And I got to say, man, like Yassine's a great dude. Uh, and he's never talked about anyone the way he's talked about you. Like, he really builds you up. So there's a, you got a lot oh, to live up to. Oh, <laughs> shucks. <laughs> so give, um, for, for people... You know, I, like I said, kind of before we jumped on the call, I kind of want to get into your backstory a little bit. But for people who aren't familiar with you and what you do, kind of give us like the elevator pitch. Who is Claude Diamond? What's the, what's the kind of role you fill in this kind of real estate investing space? Uh, Claude Diamond is the former world's worst salesman. Claude Diamond couldn't give away money, even with this pandemic haircut that I'm wearing right now that nobody, <laughs> that nobody can see. Um, uh, I've been in real estate 32 years. Um, you wouldn't know because of the cheap hair dye I use, but <laughs> the, the thing, I love real estate. Um, I have a background in business. I have a doctorate in law. I worked for wow. Fortune 500 companies. Never was happy with all the different jobs. I always wanted to be the, the what's the word we all say, entrepreneur. Right. I always wanted my own business. I, for me to put on a suit, to get in a car, to sit in traffic, to spill coffee between my legs, to sit <laughs> long, boring company meetings is just torture for me. And the worst thing of all 
uh, when you work for somebody else, you don't, or you don't get paid what you think you're worth. Right. You know, yep. and so we're in America. It's the land of free, uh, home of the free uh, and the capitalist. Uh, why can't? And so I got into a lot of different little uh, business things. And like everyone else, I got real estate fever. Okay. And I read Robert Allen's book, uh, Nothing yep. Down. Okay. Uh, a, a lot, a lot of great books. I still read a lot of real estate books. I'm a junkie for information like everyone. And I yeah. started doing my own deals and I learned very quickly uh, that all the gurus, all the seminars, all the books, all the tapes. Okay. Um, it, something was always missing mm -hmm. for me. I did deals, but sooner or later I ran, I was a young guy. I was in my twenties. I was running out of money and credit. And you can only do so many deals. So then I had to learn creative real estate, as we call it. Um, and I was, I'll, I'll shorten this up real fast. Um, I had a mentor. I met him in New Jersey. Um, every, and he was the first millionaire I ever really met. And he'd get on the phone and he did something that none of the gurus, none of the seminars taught. He, he, was, he, had, he was a natural salesman. He was charismatic. He could get on the phone and turn, can I say this, chicken shit to chicken salad all day long. And he, he was, he'd, he'd make more money in one phone call than I would make in a whole year at a, Fortune, at a Fortune 500 company with my suit, tie, company car, expense account. He'd make more money. And it, it was one of those, what do you call it, an epiphany, a revelation for me. I said, wow, if I could learn the strategies he's doing, and the sales was the real takeaway for me. Yeah. Okay. He was, he'd get on the phone and I closed. Can you imagine, Dan, closing people in one phone call or getting appointments in one call or none of this driving? I, you know, I, I listen to your podcast, by the way, and I hear the other yeah. people with the other ideas and everything like that with total That's respect. Right. I don't drive for dollars. I don't mail postcards. Yeah. I don't have a team of VAs making cold calls. Um, I'm just a good sale. I know how to give good phone now. Yeah. And that's, and, and I basically have built up um, a phenomenal lifestyle. Uh, I don't want to sound like a jerk standing in front of his jet or his limousine or something, but my wife and I are really comfortable. We're debt free. Yeah. We're mortgage free. My kids college is paid for. I, I could have retired 20 years ago if I wanted. Um, I, but I love this business. I have the thing called passion. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not working because I have to. I'm working because I love it. Right. I, I love it. I mean, there's some, is, I call making a sale the second best feeling in the world. <laughs> okay. Now, you, now, you're real young, so I might have to, when we're off camera, when we're not right. recording later, I'll explain <laughs> the number one thing. Yeah, this, this is a family show. We'll you're very young. I, yeah. <laughs> well, so let me ask you, Chris, this, this immediately jumped out of me about your story. I absolutely love because you, you introduced yourself as the former World's War salesman, right? I, I sucked. I, I couldn't, story. Dan, I sucked at sales. I, well, I, that I, makes me feel incredibly good. Cause oh, good. <laughs> I, I did. I always tell the stories, like, very early in my business. Um, I got featured in like the, the Hartford Current, which is like the Connecticut paper here, right? So it's like they, they were doing like a local business spotlight and they did one on me. And the, the woman came to like my office, she interviewed me and stuff. And it's whatever, I was just talking about what I did. And when the paper came out, I was really excited. I like ran to go get it and like check it out because I'm in the paper, right? And the headline is literally like local nerd is world's worst salesman. Like that was the headline she came away with. And it, it stuck in my head ever, literally ever since then. I'm like, I'm bad at sales. I'm bad at sales, right? So what do you teach you then? Well, that's the thing, right? You never really learn it. So I'm so curious, like to you, for, for me as someone who's outside the sales game, right? And has been for a long time. Um, to me, it always feels like there are salespeople and there are non-salespeople. But it sounds like for, for you, it's a, it's a trainable skill. It's a learnable skill. So to what extent is it like your personality? And to what extent is it just something you just learn to do? You just got to do it a bunch. Um, I'm, the, I'm the shy guy. You can ask my wife, okay? Um, uh, I, was, I always sat in the back of the room. When we used to date, we've been just celebrated our 34th wedding anniversary. Oh, I used awesome. to write, I, when we went on dates, I was so shy. How shy were you? I used to write, <laughs> I, I used to write little crib notes on my talking points on my hand. You ever, you ever go on a date with a girl and you had nothing and you didn't know what to talk about and you turned red all the time and everything? Yeah, yeah. That was me. And yeah. I wasn't, you know, I, I learned that I could learn sales, the psychology of sales. I, uh, to me, I, 
I think, can I tell the truth or should I just make everybody feel good today? Uh, I think you should tell the truth. That's my vote. I think, the, I think yeah. the failure, I'm on a mission. I think the failure rate in our business is outrageous. It's horrible. I, th I think people are working really hard. They're spending a lot of money. They're dedicated, good, intelligent people. They don't want a Lamborghini in their garage. They, they want to put food and mac and cheese on the table. Right. Okay. But they're working on the wrong end of the problem. They're working on the strategies. They're working on the marketing. And these are both important. Don't, take, don't get me wrong. But you could be the smartest. I've met people so much smarter than me, Dan. They, they could do algorithm uh, amortizations in their head for 30, 40 year mortgages at, at right. the interest rate. OK, uh, they know all the strategies, lease purchasing, my favorite wholesale real estate arbitrage uh, subject to. They know all this. Then they go into the marketing, which is your specialty. Yeah. Okay. Edward Ner Nerds is fantastic. You're one of the few guys I think has a good idea. Um, you know, but then they have the, they have the leads, which you help them to provide, but then it comes to the sales. Yeah. And instead of working on sales in the beginning, okay, they work on everything else. So you get the, you got a smart guy, he's got great leads, quality leads, and then he gets on the phone and what happens? He shoots himself in the foot in the five, first five seconds because he sounded like the other 50 scripted guys you called before he's doomed to fail i can guarantee why i know exactly why people fail in this remarkable business that has been so good to guys like you and me it's because no one taught them the art and science of persuasion and i i'm speaking very from the heart here right now because yeah. i'm a guy i mean i had tough money days too i knew i know about this and i and i love real estate but if you're just knocking on doors and going to people saying the same old blather, hi, I'm just reaching out. Hi, oh, I saw your ad in the paper. Boom. You're going to get 100% rejection because they've heard it all before. Yeah. And so Do you think, so it's the way, the way to work around that. You mentioned scripts, right? You mentioned like everybody's your, calling the all your language. This is a family show. We don't use that word. <laughs> okay. All right. Scripts so we'll, cock, we'll, scripts we'll say, cock, uh, Daniel. Well, okay. So we'll say pre-written speech guides, pre whatever you want to call it. That's guaranteed to make you fail. Yeah. So, so what is it about is it the problem with scripting is that it makes you uh, like inauthentic? Like what's the problem with it like, makes, if I'm not good at sales. It's the worst thing in the world. It makes you boring. <laughs> yeah. It makes yeah. you boring. Who wants to, you get fun. Listen, I, this is, I, th this is what always strikes me. We expect different results for something. It's a, what's that definition of insanity? Doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. You right. get a phone call at dinner. You're on sodium pentothal and two martinis. Here, here you go, Dan. I got a little bottle of Grey Goose I'm holding up right now. <laughs> okay. You're, you get a phone call at dinner. You worked hard all day. You're sitting with your family. You're having your nice steak and potato dinner and the right. phone rings. And it's a robocall. It's some pol politician. It's some jerk selling aluminum siding or lawn care. What do you do? honestly dan barrett but i hang up the minute i figure out it's not so, a real person so why are we expecting different results in real estate when we call people up for the same damn thing yeah yeah Is that, am i crazy tell you can tell me i'm wrong i'm full of it no i th i think that's exactly right so how do you you know because so many investors are calling a lot of sellers or they're, they're being told, right? Like you get on the phone with a lot of people, right? And so how do you, how do you make that initial connection with someone? If they are sitting down to dinner, how do you make it so they don't want to just punch you in the face, right? It's, it's, it's awesome. a hard thing to do. Awesome question. You've got to have a system of sales, a simple yeah. system that applies. I ask myself one question every morning. Why should someone talk to me? What should someone buy from me? Why should someone sign a contract, give me an appointment, buy my home, sell my home, buy my contract, hire me for right. mentoring or coaching, buy my books and products? Why should someone buy from me today? What is the psychology, the science that I can utilize? We have some great study uh, science out there. We got Dr. Cialdini. We got Freud and Jung. We've got Dr. Pavlov. Uh, yeah. We've got um, Dr. Eric Byrne, transactional analysis. Um, we've got my All mentor, right. Max, who was brilliant. We know that if we use the right words, uh, Dr. Erickson, conversational hypnosis, not to mm -hmm. turn them into a chicken, but to paint a picture in their mind to gain, and you use this, I heard your last podcast, which I really enjoyed. You use the word trust a lot. I love that yeah. word. 
Yeah. How do I get a total stranger to fall in love with me, to like me, to trust me? I think we called it rapport. How do we do that in seconds? And that is the secret sauce, Dan. If we can use the right words in the right way and sound different and authentic than our competition. You know, I'm one guy. I'm running a multi-million dollar business here. Yeah. I'm, I have no employees. I have no outside office. I work for my homes in California, Colorado, North Carolina, Hawaii. I just, all I do is one thing. I give good phone. I know how to speak to people in such a way with pattern interrupts. And I use the gut sales method, three steps. And I learn how to introduce myself, how to speak to people in such a way that I can get their attention. I've got a chance now, Dan. But if I call them up scripting and I say the same thing that the other 99% say, I'm, yeah. due, I'm guaranteed to fail. And it, it, it's, you know my, uh, do you know my definition of success? I don't. What is your definition? My definition is because take the house. I'm in a nice big house here in Winter Park, Colorado. It's right. all paid for. It's uh, looking out at the Continental Divide. I'm at 10,000. Take away my house, houses, take away my cars, take away, take away uh, my savings, my stocks, everything. Strip me naked. Okay. Bad, bad visual here right there. <laughs> Okay. I do work out a lot, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you look great. People can't see you are an extremely muscular man. Uh, but in any case, yeah, yeah. I run 10 miles a day, by the way. Wow, really? See all those running things back there? Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, you've got like your numbers up. So like if I people got my can numbers picture there, my guts up, like, book and everything. On them. Yeah, that's wild. Take everything away from me. Strip me naked, but God keep me healthy and get me to this magic remote control device to the universe. And yeah. I will be, I'll guarantee you, I will be on top. I will be a 1% of wage earners in the next 30 days or less. I guarantee it. So when let me say, so when you can say that, Dan, that's success, not money, not bling, bling, not cars or airplanes. It's right. when you know in your heart and soul that you can take care of your family. You can make money by just giving good phone. That's, that's what it's all about. So Sorry, so I'll get off so, my soapbox. No, 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 that's great, man. I mean, and I, I actually took like people can't say I'm gonna hold up like a little post-it note. I took a, a bunch of notes on stuff that you're saying that Me I too. think is all really fascinating. And I want to come back to guts specifically because guts is is kind of like the sales system that you kind of use and preach. I want to come back to that. Before we go there, though, so I'm so curious because like so many people set out to learn sales. And it's like you said, like right now you're at the point where I could drop you in the middle of the desert. As long as you can get access to a phone, you can provide for your family. Exactly. It's, it's such an incredible kind of like, um, I imagine, right? Like this feeling of, of kind of like self-sufficiency and power. Confidence. So like, yeah. So like, why do you think you were able to go from, like you said, like former World's War salesman to where you are now, because so many people set out on that journey and they never make it. it what do you attribute your kind of long-term success to? Great question. Um, I know the one thing, if you do the one thing you hate and you work at it real hard and you overcome it, you will find your greatness. Yeah. Do the, what's the one thing everybody hates? Let's be, we're both, we're both on uh, Grey Goose. It's early in the morning and sodium pentothal again. <laughs> what's the one thing, if I had a room full of people, what's the one thing people hate? Public speaking, cold calls, mm. interacting with total strangers. True or false? Uh, I think that's true. All I'm, those things people hate. Yeah. yeah. Um, they hate it. But I'll tell you right now, that is the one thing you have to face and you can learn this. You can learn the skills of sales. It's like driving your car the first time. Remember how, when you were 16, 17, 18, how, how red, it was uncomfortable. You didn't know what to do or, you know, and with your hands and your feet and everything. Yeah. And today you get in your car. Do you even think about it? No, it's total autopilot most of the time. I guarantee if you learn sales, you study sales, you practice sales. You know what I do with my students? I have students in 19 different countries. I have hundreds of students that I mentor personally, one-on-one. -on -one. And the one thing I do with them is we role play, we practice. I have thousands of videos just on YouTube. I get a lot of hits uh, like you do. And I just talk about sales. Guys, get out there. You can do it. You can l practice and get good at it. And then understand why you're, uh, what, uh, we just had a group call this Monday. We spent an hour on stalls and objections, the psychology of the prospect and stalls. Why do they bring up objections? How do you overcome them without, um, and get closer to the prospect rather than further away? Right, yeah. Because I think a lot of people view it as, 
this person has an objection, I have to smash through it and kind of force them to do what I want, right? But you're sort of talking about actually tightening the relationship in a way and getting closer to, to together. Right, people are people. Okay, but nobody woke up this morning and said, gee, I hope Claude Diamond and Dan Barrett call me up and tell me about the history of real estate. <laughs> It's well, somebody funny. did. I don't know if they're here, but there's somebody did somewhere. But what well, so okay. Are... Tell me about tell me about guts because you brought up your YouTube channel. I I want to I want to kind of throw this out there to the audience. The audience that listens to the show, they're into marketing specifically, and they're into real estate marketing. I've been talking on this show about becoming an authority in your local marketplace, really kind of putting yourself out there in a way. We were just talking about this before the call. You were saying, hey, I'm going to give a free book to the people that, that land on my website. We were talking about giving value, right? This is a thing I really believe in. If you are out there, you should go check out Claude's YouTube channel. One, because the information on it is great. So you should actually listen to what he's saying. But two, look at how he's doing what he's doing. He is out there very consistently giving a ton of value. He's got a ton of stuff on there and people follow him and listen to him because he earns, he earns their respect, right? He earns their respect before he asks for anything. So really, really kind of cool thing, both to go learn from, but also to model, right? But so tell me about GUTS. So GUTS I know is an acronym and you told me what it stands for and I can't remember. So I want to know what, what, what it stands for and kind of give us the outline of like, what is the GUTS kind of sales method? How does it apply to a real estate investor? GUT stands for great, untraditional, unorthodox, unorthodox techniques of sales and success. All right, it's a I'll mnemonic. Like it. It's too long. But it's, <laughs> <laughs> GUTS is about irreverent selling. GUTS is about making you confident, feeling. My daughter once gave me the greatest compliment in the world. She said, Dad, you're just comfortable in your own skin. And I thought I was the shy guy who wrote little notes on dates and I sat right. in the back of the room and never made eye contact. And today I'm comfortable in my own skin. Not a big braggart or jerk, you know, but just someone um, I can accept someone saying no to me. I, in fact, part of the gut sales system is telling people in real estate, so, um, hey, Mr. Barrett, if I'd like to make you an offer on your property today, but if it's not comfortable for you, would you do me a favor and just fire me? Yeah. Would you do that yeah. for me today? You don't have to think about it. You don't have to talk to your lovely wife, uh, light a candle in church, go to your pet rock. You know, does anyone know what a pet rock is? Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, it's like, yeah, well, not, maybe not the most modern reference, but I get it. I know what a pet rock is. Hey, listen, I say, like, you know, uh, I, uh, what's the one expression I used the other day? I sound like a broken record. Does anyone know what a record is? <laughs> okay. Well, hey, I've got, a, I've got a couple different vinyl records back there. Vinyl's in a resurgent period. I don't know about that. Vinyl, I don't care what anyone says. Vinyl sounds better than MP3. All right. Uh, any of that stuff. I, the sound is so earthy. Uh, of, I buy it, man. I'm, I'm with you. Scenario. I think it's there. Oh, absolutely. But you know, when I used to get, when I was in sales, the reason I invented guts for real estate. And now, by the way, I teach people in car sales, network marketing, uh, wall street, stock oh, brokers. Cool. Uh, it's, it's such a versatile, a three-step system yeah. that it's expanded out of real estate, which I originally intended it for because I had such success with it. Uh, all of yeah. a sudden, but you know, sales for me in the beginning was humiliating. That that phone was like a this was like a cactus to me. I live in California. We have cactus all over the place, and you <laughs> yeah. get a needle or something in your hand, it sticks there forever. Gets infected. You got it's horrible. Yeah, and I think for most people, picking up the phone from a phone, uh, calling up people in Zillow or Craigslist, or even uh, like from your AdWords uh, uh, that you help them get. I think right. to them, that is, they will procrastinate and do any, they will clean the toilet before they pick up that phone and call up a stranger because they're so worried about the assault on their ego. And my job is to teach them a way to feel so good about themselves, so comfortable, to remain non-emotional and pragmatic. I like a doctor in the room who's seeing yeah. a patient. And if I can get them just a step by step, making more, I know how to guarantee someone's success, Dan. Okay. If I, I can get know. somebody to speak to th five people a day, yeah. If I can get somebody every day to speak to five buyers, sellers, investors, land, I don't care, realtors, mm -hmm. five people a day and follow up, I will guarantee that they will find their success. Yeah. But the hard, but if you ask any investor, this is the question I always ask my students, first thing, because I get a lot of smart people call me up. How many people did you speak with today? How many offers did you make today? How much yeah. follow up did you do today? 
Oh, well, Claude, you know, I had to, uh, you know, <laughs> you know and, and, and then, you know, and then I get out my box of tissues and I go, boo effing who? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to make yeah, money in this business, you talk to people. It's that, that's the secret sauce, but it's how you speak to them with guts. I'm so curious what you have to I say. I got to switch you, the decaf here, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, no. I'm like upping my intake, if anything, lately. But uh, I'm so curious. You mentioned follow up. Follow up is a big subject on this show, We've brought it up multiple times. I'm curious what your, how you think about follow up, like how often you follow up, how you follow up, what you say when you follow up. Like, just, we don't have to get like super, super nitty gritty, but okay. just how do you think about, Hey, I had this conversation with someone. We ended in a state of some kind of uncertainty. How do I know, like, you know, like how much I should follow up and, and what I say? And how do you think about that process in general? Because I, I will say, like, just working with our clients, right? The number one thing that we notice is, well, the, the two primary things that we notice are the people that have the most success are the people of, that reply the fastest when they get a lead and the people that follow up the most, right? And right. so I, I, it's one of these things where I want to give everyone that knowledge because I feel like it's so powerful, but I personally don't have the mental model to really understand like what's ideal and, and, and kind of what you say and, and how you do it. So if, if an investor is going to come to you and say, you know, I know I should be following up, but I'm not really sure how to think about it or what I should do. What's some kind of general advice you would give that person? When you get off the phone or video, I use yeah. a lot of video, by the way. Okay. You mean like um, asynchronous, like you record a video and shoot it to them? Or you mean like a Zoom or, or what? When I get a point, people, I have an appointment calendar on my webpage for starters. Anybody yeah. can set an appointment with me for 15 minutes. Um, and it automatically sends them a Zoom link. I can use Zoom, FaceTime, Skype. I use video. Why? Because it's easier to sell somebody when you're looking at them than when, uh, as opposed to a, just an audio uh, a device, okay? Right. I'm in the, uh, you and I are speaking right now on Zoom, even though we're being recorded audio. If, yeah. it, it, it is so much more, I'm like in your living room right now and you're here yeah. in Colorado. We're face to face. We're see, you're seeing my bad haircut. You're, you're <laughs> uh, you know, you, it, tell me this isn't the bet. We're responsible for creating the best environment in the world. And it starts with video, but that doesn't, uh, that doesn't apply to your question. Right. What, um, I'm going to answer your question. This is pure guts here. It's a pure psych uh, psychology. Answer a question with a question. Okay. Uh, basically, what do you want when you get on the phone with somebody, whether you do a deal or you don't do a deal or you're in limbo or you got to follow up, what's the one thing you want the, the prospect to say about Dan Barrett when you get off that first phone call? What's the first thing I want them to say what do you about me? Think about you. What do you think about your impre their impression of you? Um, my primary goal when I talk to people is I want them to think that uh, I am being honest and that I have their best interest at heart. So that's, that's what I try to get across in every yeah. call that I do. I want people to say, Claude is a good guy. I like him. He was funny. He was, he was informative. He didn't try any tricky salesman bullshit. Um, right. He didn't tell me the price goes up on Friday. Um, he, 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 I felt good. I, you know, I want them to go to their husband or wife or significant other and say, you know, I like this guy. Guess right. what happens when people like and trust you? This is pure common sense psychology. You defeat your competition. The, the, you, you, one guy in an office on top of a mountain in Colorado with good Wi-Fi and a good computer can devastate his competition that spends thousands of dollars, tens of thousands of dollars on marketing, has a phone room and everything. What does everybody really want? Everybody really wants to, I don't know. What does everyone really want? They want somebody they can trust. They, they don't always want the mm. best price or the slickest presentation or the three hour slideshow. They, I want somebody who's, when I go, I want somebody who's going to say, I want to go to a doctor who says, Claude, we're going to heal you. We're going to make you better. I want to go to a lawyer who says, Claude, we're going to take care of this problem. I'm going to make it go away. I want to go to a dentist who says, I'm going to give you the best smile and we're going to take care of that root canal. I want to talk to somebody who assures me that I'm going to get good value and I'm dealing with an honest, ethic, ethical person. That's what I, I go for. I'm sorry, this, this really ties into follow-up, by the way. Yeah. So, so it yeah. starts there. Immediately after I get off the phone, 
I send a video right away to people. Hey, Mr. Ba Mr. Barrett, what a pleasure to speak with you and everything. We, I, I, um, I'd, love to, I'd love to speak with you again at 6.30 today, make you an offer on your property. Or if you have any questions, I know we're not going to do business today. My phone number is 970-281-5151. Or you can email me, mentor at mac.com. Or go to my webpage, clubdiamond.com. Please feel free to call me. By the way, attached to this video is a gift for you and your family. Boom. Yeah. Okay. Wow. That's, and when I, so when you say follow up to me, I mean 30 seconds after I get off the phone, I do a video, I attach a contract or a letter of intent or a free book or a gift card or I, I, I you know, whatever it takes to earn that person. It's not that hard to get people to do business with you, but we, we do everything in the world to shoot ourselves in the foot and sound like a clown most of the time. Yeah. Okay, then the next follow part of the follow up is I give them a score. We call this the emotional quotient. Are they a t eight, nine, 10? They're hot. That means I'm going to get them this, I'm going to get back to them that afternoon or the next morning at the latest. Are they a six, seven, eight? That means there's something there, but I haven't closed them yet. But I, but I better follow up within a week to two weeks at the least, at the most. Um, and then there, if there are three, four, five, maybe 30 days. If there are one, two, three, maybe 60, 90 days. I have a team. I don't have any employees, but I have some outside contractors who follow up on all my, my ones that are on the lower EQ square scale. Yeah. They, I had one guy, quick story. I'm sorry, I'm rambling here. But no. I had one, one of my fellas. He's been working for me for 14 years. He called a guy who I've never sold. He's been in my database forever. We've had multiple conversations. You know, the guy keeps calling you back and everything. And I yeah. checked my notes. Is he set an appointment with this guy for me. Okay, I do 15 minute appointments. And I said, oh God, should I cancel it or anything? Anyway, I closed the guy. He was <laughs> finally ready. He went from a one to a 10 finally. Yeah. And, and he retained me for uh, mentoring, for my gut sales mentoring. And he had his credit card and everything. And I made a sale on the spot with this guy because my guy followed up. And that's the, so you, you got to follow up. I use, um, by the way, Evernote. I, I, I'm a big Evernote fan. Yeah. Yeah. I, I love put Evernote. all my notes, my video, my links, everything in Evernote. And I put in a reminder. So if I speak to someone today and there are two, three, four, I'm, I'm going to have a reminder that says, get back to them in 60 days. Yeah. And then I'll use my notes and I'll call them up. And the beautiful thing about follow-up is I know about their house, their family, their situation, their name, their dog's name. Okay. You know, hi, Mr. Barrett, Claude Diamond here. Um, you must have sold that house by now, right, sir? Right. And yeah. you say, no, we haven't sold it. I don't know if you remember me, sir. You know, uh, but uh, I'd like to, you know, if you're still in the mood, I'd like to make you an offer on your property today. Can I ask you a few questions? You ask me a few and let's see if we can get a, we're a good fit today. If not, you can fire me again. Okay. Yeah. Boom. And that's a pattern interrupt also that a technique of guts is to sound completely different in, on the phone. Well, and I love that you're, 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 you just drew attention to it too, but I love the fact that you, you give them an out right in the beginning, right? Why you not? say you can fire me at any point. So it immediately removes the sense of pressure, you know, that sense of like, I'm trapped on the phone with this person mm -hmm. and I can't get off, which is like absolute death. You know, it's, uh, I really like that you do that. And um, there's so much man, psychology I don't know, you... in that, Dan. Yeah. When is the last time, I'm still waiting. When is the last time you met any salesperson who said, you know what, I'm here to help you solve your problems, to give you good value, answer your questions. And if it, it's okay to say no to me. Don't worry about it. I'm not, I'm just here. What's, what, why are we here? Why are we talking? Why are you buying a home? Why are you selling a right. home? Why are you investing? What are you looking for? Yeah. If I can help you solve this problem, can we do business today? Yeah. Boom. Turning chicken shit into chicken salad is my specialty. Yeah. Well, so I don't know if people can't see this. I'm taking notes. I've taken like 16, apparently all I have is sticky notes. So I took 16 sticky notes worth of notes. Um, so like if people are curious about guts, I'm curious about guts. I don't know. So like, it's again, it's like one of the things I always say on this podcast is like, you know, just listen to what everybody's saying, but you also kind of like listen to how they say it. Right. So it's like always, you know, I always say there's a, there's a Nassim Taleb quote that I really like where he says, I don't, I don't want, I don't want your investment advice. I want to know what's in your portfolio. Right. And the thing that like immediately strikes me about you is that 
you know, you're, you're telling us stuff that you teach, but you're also embodying it while you are saying it, right? So it's like this, this total thing where everything's totally aligned. And it makes me really curious about guts, even though I didn't come into this, I came into this wanting to know about it, but not for me, right? So for people like me who are now interested in what you do and they're interested in guts and they kind of want to get a sense of what you do. We, we mentioned the YouTube channel, you know, go on YouTube, search for Claude Diamond, which is Claudediamond.com. That's it. Yeah, ClaudeDiamond.com. So it's like, you, you mentioned a book um, before we jumped on the call. Well, what's the deal with, with the book and everything? Is that um, that's what's on book, the website? Um, I sell a lot of this book. This is my uh, second book, actually. It's called The Mentor Teaches the Gut Sales Method. It's a story about a guy who can't sell. Okay, mm. he's behind in his bills. His wife is up at night crying. Um, he's got a horrible job and a, an atrocious boss, the boss from hell. And, yeah. and his life, and he's just depressed, and this, he's a sad sack. And he meets this mentor, and this mentor says, "I'm going to teach you how to sell." And he goes through this whole story. I don't want to be, you know, give it away, but it's a, he teaches them the, the principles of, of the psychology and art of sales. And the guy starts slowly learning, and it's a real happy ending. Okay, I like happy endings. And I sell this. I sell a lot of these books on Amazon, on eBay, on my web. But I'll give it away. Cool. I have a little button on my web page. Says free book. Click it. Don't pay for it. Click it, and I'll send it to you right away digitally. You'll get it for free. Awesome. All right. So ever that is ClaudeDiamond.com, which if, just in case you can't spell it, C L A U D E D I A M O N D dot com. I highly recommend everyone go check this out. Thank you. And uh, Claude, I got to say, man, this is all super fascinating. You, you know, you got me excited about sales, which is not something I'm typically excited about at all. But uh, yeah, man, if you had to, and look, you, you're very passionate about this. Very clear. It comes through yeah. what you do, right? Which, which I really like. So if, if we're, we're going we're gonna to kind of end this soon, we, gotta, we both got to go. But if you were going to give one final message to like all the real estate investors out there, everybody, if you, if you could just kind of put this thing in their brain, right? You got to do it right now before you, before you leave. What would it be like? How would you change the real estate investing space for the better? I would, I would get people to focus on the sales part, get so comfortable with it, learn how to ask the right questions so that they can make more phone calls, talk to more people, make offers. That's simple. Number two, get a mentor. And I'm not trying to do a, a, a commercial for myself here because I do mentor, but find right. somebody. And when I say mentor, I mean it literally. I don't mean an overpriced BS program where you give all this money to somebody who hands you, who never talks to you, you know, the face. And then he hands you off to some guy he's paying $15 an hour to. I want, right. find yourself somebody who is successful in their own right. And I mean financially, not a guy driving a 22-year-old Yugo or something, or a 32-year-old Yugo. Or, uh, it's an old car that was- Hey, those are great cars. I don't know, why does everyone talk bad about the Yugo? Those are fantastic. Because if you scrape vehicles. the paint off, it, it says chicken of the sea. Okay. <laughs> But the thing, find somebody who is accountable, who is doing business honestly, ethically, and is financially successful so you can emulate, copy them, and learn from them. Find somebody who answers their own phone. Don't just go into a program where you're handed off with a lot of busy work and then you're put and then you're and then you're handled by some nice people in, in the Philippines or India or, yeah. or some guy who's working. See to me, what's the whole thing? What's the whole thing about freedom? Well, let me talk to somebody who has discovered that freedom. Okay, what does freedom mean to every, everybody has a different for me? Freedom was just being free from worry about bills. Get, taking care of my family and my responsibilities, being able to volunteer. I, I'm a member of the Lions Club. My wife and I help build a theater here in Cot. We do a lot of things, and we're doing a lot more now with this pandemic. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm so grateful to this business that gave me this financial freedom so I could be the, I can, uh, you know, what's the, when you're gone someday, what do you want people to say about Dan Barrett? Wow, that's deep, man. What do I want to? I want. What do I want people to say? I want people leave to the say, world a better place. Yeah, I, I want people to say I built cool stuff and that I was a good friend. That's basically what I want people. Yeah, 
You left the world a better place. Yeah. You, took, you took care of your family, your children, your responsibilities. You were a community leader. You helped people get into homes, out of homes. You helped people solve problems. And you don't have to be ashamed about your own affluence, about your own prosperity. If you're, if you're working hard, you're taking care of your family, and then you're, and then you're a philanthropist at the same time. That, yeah. all com that all comes from back on my soapbox again, be giving good phone, knowing how to communicate with people. Study any great salesperson or any great politician, Ronald Reagan or, or uh, Steve Jobs or, or anybody, or uh, uh, Vaynerchuk, okay? Yeah. What, what is it that they, what is the same quality that they all have? I don't know. Those seem like very different people. What's the they're same They're all quality? different, but they're all confident. They're yeah. all great communicators. Steve yeah. Jobs would go on a stage, no suit and tie, he'd wear jeans and some New Balance sneakers, and they loved him, Yeah. okay? You, it's, it's all about, and in, and in real estate, you have to, you got, you have, you want to, you don't want to do what your competition is doing. You want to be the irreverent, oddball, Claude Diamond, gut salesman who gets on the phone. And the first thing you say to people is, Dan, what, go ahead. Let's, can we do one role play before I go? Well, I would love to. All hey, right. Yeah. I'm, I'm way into this. Who is okay. my, who am I? I'm the seller. Um, you can, yeah, you could be a seller. Yeah. Whatever you want. Right. Go ahead. Well, yeah, I'll, cool. I'll just wing it uh, with you. Yeah. Uh, hello, it's Dan Barrett. Dan, what the hell happened? <laughs> <laughs> what? Yep, that, what you, got that beautiful, you got that beautiful home on Maple Drive. I, I know that neighborhood. That home should have sold in a New York minute. What's wrong with it? Uh, oh, I, I don't know. Markets, the market's not great, I, I guess. And, I'm and, sorry to know. be so abrupt. My name's Claude Diamond. I'd like, if, 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 if the home isn't available still, is it? No, it is. I haven't sold it yet. Can I make you an offer today on that home and it's okay to accept it or decline it? Uh, sure. Yeah, you can make me an offer, I guess. Oh, yeah, why not? Off the roll. Yeah. <laughs> 30 seconds or less. I've intrigued you. I've captured your interest. We're right. having a conversation. Or I can do what, what is everybody else saying? You give me the amateur sales guy. Hello. Go ahead. Your turn. Uh, hello. Yeah, um, yeah. Hello. Is this uh, Kalud Diamond? No, this is Claude Diamond. Get my name right, buddy. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, Claude. Uh, yeah, sorry, or Mr. Diamond. Uh, yeah, this is a uh, uh, Daniel Barrett calling from Barrett Home Buyers. Oh, you're one of those uh, the bottom feeding investor guys. <laughs> no, you're that tenth guy to call me today. Take me off your list. Click. Uh, uh, yeah. Boom. That's that's what ninety nine and nine tenths sound like to the prospect. So don't yeah. do that if it's not going to work. <laughs> Instead, call people up. I even call yeah. up people. You want one more, just for fun. Here. All right, I'm in. I'm into it. Who am I? Hey, I'm the seller. Say hello. Say, hello. Say, All right. Hello. Yeah. Hi. Uh, um, is this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Uh, yeah. This is this is Claude Diamond. Um, I'm sorry it took me so long to get back to you. Uh, how can I help you? Uh, I uh, you I don't know. Me. Did did I call you or I, I thought you called I, me? I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm a little confused today. Do you ever have one of those little post-its on your desk with a phone number and everything? I'm, I'm a little embarrassed here. Can you help? Your name, sir? Uh, Dan Barrett. Dan, I'm Claude Diamond. This isn't about real estate, is it? Oh, uh, well, I mean, I, I'm selling my house. But That's it. That's, and it's sold already, I'm sure. No, 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 we're still selling it. Would you like to sell it today? Yeah, I mean, if the price is right, yeah. Sounds good. You mind if I ask you a few questions? You ask me a few. Let's figure out how to do business or you can kick my butt off the phone. Frere? Uh, Sure. Yeah, sounds fair, oh, I guess. Yeah. I'm in. <laughs> that's, gut, that's gut selling. I love it, man. It's so fun. I, I love it, man. It's, it's it, you know, it's one of these things. It's kind of, again, comes back to one of the themes of this show where we, we talk about how almost all real estate investor companies are, are, identical right there there you, you can swap between them and it doesn't really matter and it makes this sort of situation where the only thing that matters is the price right and i think what you do is you know it, it, you just have this ability and it sounds like that's what you teach in your system right so it's an ability to stand out and even if it's just like yeah it's it's just makes it different and different in this business is it's what it's all about, man. I think it's a, it's a very, very powerful framework. I'm going to um, yeah. make people succeed. I've already made it. Okay. Yeah. But if I, can take, if I can show a few people 
to do what I'm doing. I am nobody special. I don't have hire. I have, I'm, I'm, I'm a pretty st street smart kid from New York City, okay? But um, it's, if I could get more people to focus more on persuasion and influence, being a thespian and being a therapist, learning the art and science of persuasion. If I could get a few people to do this, mm -hmm. they would see phenomenal changes in the way they feel about themselves, feel great about themselves, and when they look at and at their financial statement. Yeah, I love it, man. And I gotta say, this is as podcast goes, this has been one of my favorites. Thank one you. One of the few where we've mentioned both Ericksonian hypnosis and transactional analysis on a real estate investing podcast. Don't which forget is Pavlov, you know, ring the bell and make the yeah, dogs. Yeah, 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 salivating dogs, man. It's, I, I, I find all this stuff fascinating. I highly recommend anybody that's listening to this. Make sure you go check out Claude's website. Again, it's claudediamond.com. Go check it out. Uh, Claude, thank you so much for coming on, man. It's been a thank real pleasure. Thank you for inviting me. I'm and, sorry um, we had nothing to talk about today, but. I know, yeah. It just, God, it just dragged on, man. It was terrible. Oh, but it's my greatest fear <laughs> in the world when, I'm, when I do public speaking or, or something like this. My greatest fear in the world is someone's going to go, oh. <laughs> this is a great. Make them laugh, make I them know. cry, but don't ever make them fall asleep. Yeah, you got you to gotta make them remember you, right? But I, I love it, man. And I think any investor listening to this can take just what we've talked about in this podcast. Literally, they don't do anything else. Take what they applied, what they've learned in this podcast, apply it to their business and some huge results. So I really applaud you for that. And uh, I can't thank you enough for coming on. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Dan. Thank you so much. Hey, killed it. Hey. That was awesome. Hey. Great job, man. It's amazing. That was that was fun. You're a great interviewer. Thank you. That was thanks, dude. I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to get my interviewer game as good as possible. But uh yeah, you man, you're a great, great interview. Questions. You, you you pitched me softballs all day. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> like Claude, who would you recommend as the top real estate investing sales mentor out there? Like, I can't think of anybody. Maybe um, I like I like I like guys who are accountable. I, that what I said earlier. Um, well, I like uh, you know, um, I I like people who answer their phone, who get back yeah. to me. I'm really big on. I use Verizon, not because they're the, the uh, because they have great customer service. I'm an Apple guy um, yeah. because uh, I can get a technician on the phone in five to ten minutes. Um, I love Amazon because if I buy something, it's not what I expected. I hit a button, they give me the return uh, postage. Yeah. I, I mean, I love, maybe it's my age group or what. I like accountability and customer service. And so no, I guys, think it's like, like Joe McCall or, or um, I'm trying to think of somebody. It's not, the list is very short. Yeah. <laughs> well, and you know, it's, it's funny. You're talking about somebody that answers their phone and that strikes me as like, it's a, it's a really good indicator because it means they have skin in the game, right? Cause like, if you know, your clients can call you, you are going to treat them a little bit differently than like, you never have to see that client ever again. You know what I mean? It, it just goes very differently. And, uh, you, know, it's funny, you don't have to have the biggest about... business in the world. I don't have yeah. to be a mon. You know, to me, uh, we didn't even get into it. I don't need a million leads. I don't need a. I don't need a lot of employees. I don't need a lot right. of overhead. I discovered, and this is just my truth. It's not for everybody. If I can get on the phone with a few people every day, really quality. All I want is quality, not quantity. Yeah. Not the yeah. quantity. Not, there's nothing wrong with quantity selling. But the way I love my lifestyle and my business and my financial goals is give me three, four, five people a day, quality leads. Yeah. And, and let me get on the phone with them. And my close ratio is through the roof for either product sales, consulting, my mentoring program, or a real estate deal. Yeah. It's funny, man. It, you, you remind me a lot of it, it, your personality and your delivery are complete opposites, like total polar opposites. But you remind me a lot of this, the, my friend, this guy, uh, I consider my friend, this guy, Nick Peterson, who I met uh, originally in a mastermind group. He was running a nutrition program. He's since like kind of parlayed this thing into, he kind of brokers agreements with a lot of different businesses and stuff. It's one of the best salespeople I've ever met, right? And he just does this thing where you kind of have to beg him to sell you something. And he, <laughs> he just, 
you know, it's like by the, you're trying to claw it out of him. You're like, well, tell me what you do. And it's like everyone he, the thing that really strikes me about him is, you know, I'm in his fucking mastermind group. I pay like 3K a month to be in it. It's like one of the most expensive things I do. And, um, and it's like everybody in that group, it's paying him money, right? And they all are like grateful for the opportunity. That's like the vibe, right? And it's just, it's the same thing. It's like, I've got a cell phone number. I can call him whenever I want, right? It, it's, it's, one of those, it's one of those things. And he, it, it's just, the similarities are interesting because the, he's very, um, he's very hard to read. He's kind of taciturn. He's got like a low, he's like, he is really is like a giant muscle dude. He talks very <laughs> slowly and very quietly. And he's kind of very serious, but he has this ability for, you never feel like he's chasing you, never chases anybody, right? They all, they all kind of come to him. It's really, really interesting. So I, but there's so many similarities in what you guys do um i'm definitely gonna i'm gonna pick up a bunch of your stuff man I'm did i send you um through. what uh, did i send you my books or anything like that i don't think so i well, mean i think me, we um, talked with you seen and I'll, then uh, I'll send you an email books. right now with a uh with a dropbox access to all my books uh, oh awesome you. yeah i would love little that gift, little gift for you uh what's your phone number by the way dan i, I yeah I, I mine is uh, it. it's here i'll put it in i'll put it in the chat that way you can just give it to me um i'll write okay, it down eight six zero right nine four four Five six five three, five three. Yeah, man. Feel free to you know text me, call me, whatever, anytime. It's fine. Yeah. No, I just I, I was uh, well, I was getting worried. I could have, uh, maybe I had the time wrong or something, and I said, oh, I better call him. And I said, oh, I don't have his phone number. Oh, I know. Yeah, it's it's like yeah, it's good to have it. Yeah, it's um, um, when's our meeting? Uh, we're gonna um, we're gonna. Oh yeah, uh, let's confirm it. Real I quick. have you for Friday at uh, your East Coast time, right? I am. Yeah. Yeah. Ten yeah. o'clock. Ten o'clock Friday. And yeah. we're going to do the same thing, except we're going to be simultaneously broadcasting on, on Periscope, on the FaceTime, and on uh, uh, YouTube. I have a lot yeah, of Yeah, so are you going to do that in the StreamYard thing that you right. use? Right. Yeah. Okay. I'll email you. Um, okay. I'll email you the StreamYard link. Okay. Beautiful. And I'll bring you on. And we're just going to have a fun, casual talk and take questions. And very loosey, just like today, just loosey-goosey. Awesome. Do you want me to, should I download StreamYard before that? Like, do I need to have it on my computer? No. no. All okay. I need to do is send you a link. Okay. Um, you should, I would recommend you, you have Chrome. I do. Yeah. It works best with Chrome. Okay. It doesn't cool. work as well. I'm a Mac guy and it does just doesn't like Safari for some reason. Yeah. Safari is odd for a lot of stuff like that but um, i'm a mac i'm a mac fanatic so my daughter yeah, me was, too, man. my daughter well, was, was just, for apple in fact yeah well i was i was just saying like oh she really that's cool i was just yeah. saying like i just bought these like fancy airpods because i'm in yeah okay so good so dude wait do, wait do you go on an airplane when we can fly again and yeah, yeah. that screaming kid for three and a half hours behind you yeah. these have sound canceling it was uh, the this was the first time and i i'm a huge apple fanboy too right this was the first wow reaction moment i've had to an apple product in a long time was that this one? yet no oh the apple watch no i, I haven't i haven't i'm not i don't know i gotta watch tell you something yeah. this thing this thing has made me a fortune really i've Why? gone run, i go running every day yeah and this is a cell phone it, it's actually synchronize it, it you don't have to take your cell phone with you anymore you can okay. do phone calls to send and receive phone calls right through the phone here and these yeah. and i've had people call me during runs okay and i've sold packages i've sold uh, <laughs> mentoring programs yeah uh, uh, everything just because i i was you know i answered my phone that's so interesting, man. And, and I'll you know, tell you probably what. Your energy is high, too. You're like, you know, you got like the, the blood pumping and everything. It's well, like, I just came in, you know, before I did this, I just, I just came in from my run this morning. Yeah. You know, took the 30-second shower. I tried to brush this dog, this chicken's ass <laughs> into, into some kind of shape here. And, um, and everything. I have to go. I have another appointment. I'm sorry. Yeah, me too. I got one. I got one on one. Hey, this was an absolute blast, dude. Thank you Thank so you much. Thank you so really. much. Yeah, I'll talk to you Friday. We make a good team. Thank you. Yeah, likewise, dude. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.